When a farmer found his runaway hen, he thought she had laid some eggs. However, when he looked a little closer, he got the shock of his life when he found an unexpected surprise. Farming is hard work. You have all sorts of things to do, and you have to keep a million plates spinning at once. It can be tricky to keep track of all your animals, especially the smaller ones, such as hens and chickens. Luckily, these animals never seem to go too far, and sometimes even make their way back to their rightful place on their own. That's why, when a farmer in New South Wales, Australia, noticed that one of his hens was missing, he didn't think anything of it at first. Animals escape all of the time, said the farmer, fondly remembering his many years of working in farming. Fences break and come down or get gaps in them, and if an animal finds that weakness, they just walk on through. They have no problem just trampling the rest of the fence down and ruining my day and causing me even more work. I'm not complaining, but you've really got to have your eyes in the back of your head. In fact, the farmer knew full well that this particular hen was known for sneaking away from her coop. She would wander off and do her own thing, keeping herself busy. If it wasn't such an inconvenience to the farmer sometimes, he would almost find it funny and endearing. You see, this particular hen didn't particularly like to be with the rest of the chickens. It was as if she wanted more for herself and had a taste for freedom and the outside world. That's why she would constantly find new and ever inventive ways of escaping and wandering off. Luckily, she never went too far. The hen liked to take a long walk around the farm, pecking at spilled grain or wheat on the ground. She would also comically make friends with the many other animals. The farmer had caught her sitting atop a horse, wandering around the sheep's fields and cuddling with the lambs playing around the pigsties and even feeding from the same troughs as the cows. She certainly was a sociable animal. She would even sometimes try to spend time with the farmer himself when she had a chance. On more than one occasion, she had come wandering into his kitchen looking for some human company. The farmer would dutifully pick her up and return her to the rest of her chicken friends. But it seemed that she would always escape somehow and end up walking back into the kitchen as if nothing had happened. The farmer could only chuckle and think to himself that she was like the hen version of Houdini. The amount of times that little hen has run off is crazy, laughed the farmer as he remembered the runaway bird. If I had a dollar for every time that hen would break out and leg it, then I wouldn't be in farming anymore, I'll tell you that. But on the hen's most recent escape attempt, the farmer was in a particularly grumpy mood. Things were not going smoothly on the farm, deliveries were not arriving on time. The animals all seemed to be acting up and causing him trouble, and there were all kinds of work, maintenance, and paperwork to do. So the last thing he needed to be doing was to be wandering around looking for the escapee chicken. He could think of far better and more productive ways to spend his time. Still, it was all part of the job, so the farmer dutifully, if a little angrily, set off searching. He found that she wasn't in any of her usual places. She wasn't with any of the other animals, nor was she in or around the farmhouse. The farmer was certainly starting to get irritated that he was wasting so much of his valuable time, running around like a headless chicken and looking for a stray hen. Eventually, he started searching the places that she went less frequently and he was pleased to finally locate her sitting on a large pile of hay in the corner of an old barn. Walking up to the hen, the farmer noticed that she was sitting as if she were on top of an egg. That would make sense. The hen was bred for laying eggs, so it came as no surprise to the farmer that when he picked her up, there were two large, round, well-sized eggs sitting there. The hen looked at him and let out a little noise, tilting her head backwards and forwards. She looked so silly that the farmer couldn't stay mad at her. But just as he was about to reach down and pick up the eggs with his free hand, he noticed something else there, half buried by the hay. When you see a hen huddled down, you just assume it's eggs, said the farmer, reflecting on the discovery. Hens are hardwired to want to roost and sit on their eggs to keep them warm, so they hatch properly and their offspring are born. So yes, I totally expected to see that, but it was what else was there that really took me aback and gave me a little fright at first. There were two small animals laying there. The farmer had missed them at first, 
The barn was dark, and the little ones were very much covered up in hay and cuddled up together. He placed the hen down and turned back to the strange animals. But before he could get a better look, the hen ran back and sat herself down on top of them again, keeping them warm. The farmer's curiosity started to take over, and he tried his best to get a good look at what kind of animals the hen had somehow adopted. Because of the lighting, and because the bird refused to budge, he barely got a glimpse. But what was clear was that they were incredibly small, covered in fur, and very much enjoying the warmth their adoptive chicken mother was providing. She was really determined to stay on top of those eggs and the little furry animals, remembered the farmer with a smile. Hens are very protective of their brood, and if a hen takes another animal under its wing, then it will look after it and protect it to the best of its ability. Not too many people know that about hens, but it's an incredibly admirable quality that you don't often see in many other animals. The farmer picked up the hen again and scooped up the eggs, carrying them back to where they belonged. He planned on going back to the barn to properly investigate, so he firmly placed the hen atop her two new eggs, where she thankfully settled down and went back to get a proper look at the two strange animals. In actual fact, the two unidentified animals were kittens. For some reason, the hen, filled with motherly instinct, had taken it upon herself to keep the farm's resident cat's babies safe while their mother was off hunting mice and other rodents around the farm. She had found them in the hay, presumably where the farm cat had left them, and just plonked herself down on top of them. The kittens, grateful for the warmth, had not complained or made any fuss, instead curling up even further and enjoying this new feathered source of heat. As strange as this may sound, this isn't an unusual occurrence for hens on farms. These animals are so kind and caring that they'll keep any small critter warm if they feel they need love and care. It's part of what makes them such good and attentive mothers. They know what needs to be done, and they do it. There are rarely any stories of hens abandoning their young, with these feathered beasts far more likely to be sociable and adopt others. The hen found its way back to the kittens a few more times after that, laughed the farmer. It seems as if they formed some kind of bond. It was lovely to see them so close. It's certainly strange to see a hen playing with two cats, but when you're a farmer, you see a lot of strange things. That hen might be a bit of a nightmare from time to time, but I've certainly never had a hen like her before, and I wouldn't have her any other way. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredibly cute and adorable story? How would you have reacted if you were the farmer, discovering the hen, protecting the kittens? Have you ever heard of animals being so loving and protective towards completely different species? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.